Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Sheik Luch, L-O-X-D Block, Silverback. What's good, y'all? You heard? Peace to uh, Gully TV. Um, for me, my locks, my D-Block family, continue success. Keep doing your thing. Salute. Town XO man, live from the premiere. My big OG Kareem from First and Kennedy, man. We live Gully TV on this production tip. Out here, man, shooting pictures behind all the scenes, all the BTS footage. Man, Gully TV, one of the best guys out here in the world, man. Make sure y'all tune in, man. XO said it, man. Tell me. Notorious. Now you world famous as a, a documentarian. I know you got prior projects before this one, but this one is gonna really, really ring some bells and shit. Tell me how you feel about the reception today. Oh man, it was awesome. It was a sold out, sold out at 227 seats. Had to turn away like 150 people. Yeah. So the reception was beautiful. Man. Everybody loved it. So I, I love what we got. How long did it take to put it together? Um. If you, if you delete COVID out of the picture, about six, seven months, maybe eight. Okay, you did all the editing? I did all the editing. What you use? You don't mind me? I, I, I fuck with Final Cut Pro and shit. That's what I did, Final Cut, Final on, Cut. On, on a MacBook. Yeah, MacBook <laughs> shit, no doubt. And uh, how does it feel, man, to start with, a, with what is, is, is essentially a couple of video files and then six months later you hear it? How, do you, how does it feel, man? Oh, man, it's awesome. You know, it's just, it's just one step at a time, slow walking, and right. make it happen. How was you able to get some of the administration here from Lorton? I, I got I got a great video of the uh, the ward. How was you able to pull that off? Well, what's crazy was once everybody found out what I was doing, and um, they started reaching out to me like, man, look, I love what you're doing. I love that you're documenting. I love that somebody from here that was in Lorton actually documented as right. opposed to, you know, National Geographic right. or something. No, no they, doubt. We talked about that before. Did you have prior encounters with this administration? Like, did they see you when you was doing your thing? Man, look, when we was down Lawton, they all knew us. <laughs> they knew who we were. We was menace. They knew we was menace for real. We, 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 we created record problems for them people down Lawton, man. I'm very, very, very proud of y'all, man. You introduced me to Sean Branch, a door open for me. you always been great to me, man. I appreciate you. I love your skill set. You fresh as a month. Come here, man. You niggas think y'all getting fresh around here, man. I love when y'all put it together, man. Shout out to DC. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Uh, tell my viewers where they can find this project at online. All right, so this project ain't going to be on, on online yet. We're going to try to shop it to some networks. But my other projects, you go on um, Amazon Prime, we go to YouTube. You just got to type in my name, Kareem Mowat. Once you type in my name, everything going to come up. All about right. 100 projects on I there. got off the highway a little bit late. Now tell me how I can see it. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to have some DVDs next week. I'm going to get one too. <laughs> Alright, my man. Kareem, I appreciate you. Go ahead and give a shout out to your brother. Give a shout out to the guys yeah. on first. You know the whole city of D.C. watching. Man, here's a shout out to to, to Benny Lee Lawson, shout out to my brother Kobe Moat, that's my road dog, can't, right. wait, till, can't wait till he come home, right. shout out to the 100, first of Kennedy, that's my hood, shout out to Sean Branch, is my homie from when we was teenagers, yeah, I rode through Montana Washington. and Saratoga on my way here too, shout out to the whole Washington DC man, the whole Lord and everybody, man we here, and we gonna keep pushing, 100 Films is the brand, 100 Films all day, I'm all over you, I appreciate you, yes, sir. my man. Right, you got to always be yourself. So I say that in reference to that when we went to Lord, and as they touched on in the film, you know, a lot of guys, especially young guys, wanted to be tough guys. But in all actuality, I ain't remember for being tough, getting no money, stabbing nobody or nothing. I remember for writing a book so it don't even fit. So the thing that I learned the most was just to be yourself. Mm. I mean, he, um, he basically summed it up for me. That's, that's the same for me. Just be yourself. You know what I mean? Try not to overdo it, try not to be something that you ain't. A lot of guys get caught up like that trying to be something that they ain't. So in order to make it, for me, my journey, man, started in Lorton when I was uh, 22. And uh, I made a constant decision to start educating myself. You know what I mean? For the things that I lacked coming in Lorton, I made sure I took advantage of every opportunity they, they offered. You know what I mean? Why not take advantage of free education? That was a provider for me. You know what I mean? A lot of, I, I tell a lot of youth that I, um, I mentor, if they bust a commissary open for you and tell you you can get $50 worth of commissary free, the line will be from the commissary doorway up to the rec yard. 
but over there at the education department, where education is free, you don't see that many. So I made sure I educated myself and I, I used my time wisely. Got my degree, wrote numbers of books. I only put out one so far, but um, I got mountain screenplays that I, I, I wrote since I've been in. So, you know, that's, that's how I utilize my time. I so was 41 years law enforcement, and when I left, I was the deputy director of all eight facilities, plus the D.C. jail and CTF. You asked me in the beginning, was there anything that I thought you should have done? You did an outstanding job. And I can attest to the fact that everything you said in there was true. <laughs> Plus so, I know there was a lot more that could have gone in there. I'm glad you touched on even some of the positive of Lorton because that's one of the things that I regretted when Lorton was closing, that the folks in Virginia would not give Lorton his propers about some of the things the men did. They came out with degrees, they came out with skills, and when they talked about escapes from Lorton, they never went to anybody in Virginia. We always knew they'd be back in D.C. Go to Southeast and you can find the guys back in D.C. But I commend you all, and I would be very, very happy to see you all do a part two. Congratulations. First, I want to say thank you to y'all for putting this film together. My name is Rose Brown. And I've done and seen a lot of films in the last 50 years. And man, what y'all did with this film is fantastic. It's professional. You did a lot of research. I felt your heart and your passion in it. And it made me cry because I saw some guys in there who was no longer here. You know, it was with us in, in the little play and that kind of stuff. But I got two questions. One is, when will it be shown again? And how will people notif be notified? Because as I look around now, there's a lot of guys in here from Lawton, family from Lawton. I grew up in I did 50 years connected to Lawton for the son of a little kid. And what you uh, accomplish, the professionalism, we're in this big first class man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Jimmy, you know, the Y'all did the right, you're doing the right. I can get any assistance to help out anywhere you can. Call me. Merry Christmas. Hey, yo. I'm outside the Alamo Draft House Cinema. I just came out of the Kareem Mowat release of the Prison of Terror documentary. It's about Lorton. Shout out to Sean Branch, Eon Williams. Y'all out here doing a real major. I appreciate the invitation. Washington, D.C., you already know what it is when I come through. It's electrifying. The dribble is international. The dribble is in Northeast D.C. right now. And I'm going to be here overnight working again. Shout out to the Kareem Mowat. Make sure y'all following me on all platforms at I am Gully TV underscore. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Gully TV one. And um, if you follow me, I'm going to tell you how you can get that hard, tangible copy of the documentary from Kareem Mowat, my man. Peace.